the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 237 2 Chronicles 18-22 Faith Before Alliance Although Jehoshaphat implemented the reform based on the laws and depended on God when he was faced with the great crisis of the country, he made the mistake of aligning with the kings of those Israel. First point. Saul's Judas Jehoshaphat's marriage alliance with North Israel's Ahab cast a dark crowd. 2 Chronicles 17-20 to records the action of the fourth king of South Judah, Jehoshaphat. First, in chapter 17, it is difficult to find a fault in Jehoshaphat. He went in the way of David and did what was right. However, his faults started to appear in 2 Chronicles chapter 18. He made an alliance with North Israel through their children's marriage. This marked the beginning of trouble for South Judah. We remember that Ahab in North Israel brought in Jezebel, who spread Baal and Asherah idols all throughout the country. This time, Jehoshaphat brought the princess of North Israel who also spread Baal and Asherah all throughout South Judah. Two years after the alliance through marriage, Ahab from North Israel proposed to Jehoshaphat to attack Aram. Jehoshaphat asked God of this matter. Ahab also called 400 false prophets, including Zedekiah, to ask about this war. They all told Ahab that North Israel and South Judah would be able to win Aram. It was here, however, that Jehoshaphat proposed that they ask the God's prophet one last time. Micaiah stood before the two kings and all their officials and told them they would lose. Ahab did not listen and locked him up in prison. Ahab and Jehoshaphat, along with their armies, went to war. When Jehoshaphat almost died, he called out to God to ask for help. Here, God saved his life. In the book of Kings, there is no record that God saved Jehoshaphat's life. But Chronicles records that he called out to God, and so God saved his life. Ahab, however, died during this war. I was actually afraid after hearing Micaiah's prophecy, and so went to war disguised but he died as predicted. Second point, Jehoshaphat, who was rebuked by the prophet Jehu, went ahead with the religious reformation. Jehoshaphat was saved by God and returned to Jerusalem, and the prophet Jehu rebuked him. The reason for losing against Aram was because Jehoshaphat made an alliance with the North Israel by marriage, which spread idol worship. Later on, Moab and Ammon attacked South Judah, which was followed by a coup d'etat against Jehoshaphat. As such, South Judah went down in chaos. However, Chronicles focuses on the good things that Jehoshaphat did after the rebuke of Prophet Jehu. Prophet Jehu, who rebuked Jehoshaphat, was the son of a prophet Hanani, who was put in prison after rebuking Jehoshaphat's father, Asa. Jehoshaphat carried out a religious reformation after hearing Jehu's rebuke from Beersheba to Ephraim. He moreover appointed judges not only in Jerusalem, but around all of South Judah. He separated the religious judges from other officials. Third point, Jehoshaphat prayed to repent following Solomon's prayer of dedication. After Jehoshaphat's religious reformation, Moab and Ammon came to attack South Judah. This happened after Jehoshaphat came back from war with Aram. 
the waters of God spoken through the prophet Jehu came true. When Moab and Ammon came to attack, Jehoshaphat gathered the people of South Judah to all fast during prayer and to repent of their sins. Jehoshaphat's prayer was based on Solomon's prayer of dedication of the temple. God therefore responded to their prayer through the Levite Jajel. When God listened to their prayers, Jehoshaphat and the whole of South Judah prayed and gave thanks. After this, Jehoshaphat and the people prepared for war against Moab and Ammon. The first thing they did was to gather in the desert of Tekoa, and Jehoshaphat said a few words to the people. The second thing they did was to appoint men to sing to the Lord and praise Him for the splendor. This was like the time Joshua and the Israelites went to conquer Jericho. The third thing was that God granted them a miracle, and they were able to defeat Moab and Ammon. The people of Moab and Ammon began to have a conflict internally, and they started to kill one another. The fourth thing was that God led South Judah to victory. South Judah took the spoils from war and praised God. As such, Jehoshaphat was recorded to have both good and bad points. Like King Asa, Jehoshaphat left the few idol temples that led the idol worshippers to continue. After making an alliance with Ahab from North Israel, Jehoshaphat also made an alliance with Ahab's son, King Ahaziah. Prophet Jehu rebuked him about this, and it appeared that he repented for a while, but that did not last long, and Jehoshaphat continued to make alliances with North Israel for trade and other businesses. This was as Eliezer's prophecy, that if Jehoshaphat continued to make alliance with North Israel, he would consequently be punished. First point, the prophet Elijah sent a letter to King Joram to rebuke him. After Jehoshaphat, Joram became the fifth king of South Judah. He went in the way of evil. He put all his brothers to the sword, along with some of the officials of Israel. Jehoshaphat feared that conflict may occur after his death regarding the next king and so did his best to clear things up, but he did not expect Jehoram to go as far as to kill his brothers. Jehoram not only went in the way of Jeroboam, but he moreover became influenced by Jezebel's idols, Bahar and Asherah. Despite Jehoram's evil, God still kept his covenant with David. Because of Jehoram's sins, Edom and Limna revolted against South Judah. God spoke to the prophet Elijah regarding Jehoram's sins. Jehoram was ultimately put to death because of his sin. Despite being the descendant of David, the people did not acknowledge him as their king, and they did not bury him with his ancestors. Fifth point, Ahab's daughter Athaliah in North Israel spread idol worship even to South Judah. When Jehoram died, his last son, Ahaziah, became the sixth king of South Judah. The reason Ahaziah managed to survive was because of God's covenant with David. But Ahaziah also went in the way of Jeroboam and Ahab. This was because his mother was the daughter of Ahaz and Jezebel who influenced him. At the time, Jehu had been anointed to destroy the house of Ahab, and this brought Ahaziah's downpour. Two chronicles record that Jehu was sent by God to destroy the house of Ahab. When Ahaziah suddenly died, Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah, became the next king of South Judah. She proceeded to destroy the whole royal family because she believed that David's descendants should all die. She tried to go against the covenant between God and David. But through all this, God saved Joash, who was the descendant of David. Athaliah ruled for six years, but God had secretly made Jehoshua 
the thought of King Jehoram raged Joash for six years. The reason God saved Joash was because of his covenant with David. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.